The fan clutch is an important engine cooling product. If not working properly, it will consume too much engine power, hereby leading to increased fuel consumption. A faulty fan clutch will also cause poor temperature control. Therefore, it is extremely important to pay attention to the state of the fan clutch. When the fan clutch needs to be replaced, it is important that it is done by a professional repair shop using high quality spare parts only. Apply the parking brake and turn off the vehicle ignition. In order to determine the cause of defect, pay attention to the fan clutch behavior, as several things can be a symptom of defect. The most common ones are, engine temperature is too hot or cold, fan spins excessively when engine is cold or does not increase until engine is excessively hot, fan turns roughly or does not turn at all, excessive fan noise or vibrations, after detecting a fan clutch defect, it's now time to order a new fan clutch with the correct item number for the truck's specific make and model. When browsing through Nissan's web shop to find the correct fan clutch, the installation guide and technical tips are available for specific fan clutch types and models. Furthermore, high quality drawings, close-up photos of electrical connections, and 360-degree product spins are available in Nissan's web shop. Before starting the installation, always follow the vehicle manufacturer's instructions and remove the necessary components to allow access to the fan clutch. Perform a visual inspection of the fan clutch and unplug the electrical connection of the fan clutch, if any. If the radiator hoses must be removed during this phase, remember to drain the coolant. It is important to check the condition of the radiator. The radiator must be clean as improper airflow through the radiator can cause fan clutch failure. Check the condition of the supply belt, if any, and tensioner, and replace if needed. Also, check the condition of other important parts handled during the installation and repair or replace if necessary. Now, the replacement of the defective fan clutch can begin. Remove the bolts from the plastic shroud. In the same way, remove the bolts that attach the fan clutch to the shaft. Remember to keep these bolts for the new fan clutch. Carefully remove the fan clutch and shroud from the engine compartment in order to avoid damage of the radiator fins. Remove the bolts that attach the fan blades to the fan clutch and carefully inspect for bent or broken blades. A damaged fan must not be repaired. It should always be replaced. If the fan is intact, it can be used on the new fan clutch. In the event of a broken fan, it should either be ordered separately or together with the new fan clutch. In Nissan's fan clutch range, you'll find a wide selection of fan clutches, with and without fan blades. When receiving the new fan clutch from Nissan's, a clear indication of correct storage position is visible on the product box. There is a possible risk of fan clutch damage as the oil can spill if stored incorrectly. A test report is included in the product box of all Nissan's fan clutches as proof of high quality and OE matching products. Be aware never to use electrical wiring or harness as a handling bar, neither when unpacking the new product nor when installing. Furthermore, if the fan clutch is dropped, it should be discarded. Now it is time to compare the defective fan clutch to the new fan clutch from Nissan's in order to ensure that the new fan clutch is similar to the originally applied fan clutch in terms of important measurements. The fan blades should now be mounted on the new fan clutch. Screw the fan blades on Nissan's fan clutch using the correct torque. 
always use the bolts which come with the Nissan's fan clutch. It is very important to use these specific bolts, as some fan clutch models use the bolt heads as a signal donator, measuring the rotation speed of the fan clutch. All Nissan's fan clutches come with new bolts for the fan blade installation. Make sure that the shaft surface is completely clean before installation, as any dirt can cause axial runout errors. Screw the fully assembled fan clutch onto the shaft. Be aware not to damage the magnet coil during installation. Do not press or hit the coil. Install all other components previously removed according to the vehicle manufacturer's instructions. Now, plug in the electrical connection if any. Ensure the wiring is correctly connected and fix the wiring with strips. Finally, it's time to check if the fan clutch has been installed correctly. Make sure that the blade is able to spin freely in the shroud, not touching any of the other components. Resecure the driver's cap, then refill the engine coolant if it was drained earlier. Now, connect the diagnostic computer to the truck to ensure that there are no error codes. Choose the widest product range from Nissan's, including high-quality products for truck applications.